Popular ramen outlets are everywhere in Singapore, but today on Food Finders, we'll be finding some hidden and undiscovered ramen right in our neighborhood. Food Finders! Today on Food Finders. Hey, cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Today on Food Finders, we're gonna have a slurping good time because we're gonna have some ramen! Woo! Thank you for giving me this segment. <laughs> Today, we're gonna try to find some hidden, underrated ramen spots. Actually, I always try to find the underrated ones. There's so many big brands in Singapore. The underrated ones, sometimes like, they have like the best soup stocks and the best texture of noodles. I have very specific types of ramen that I like. When I'm in Japan, I love to drink shio ramen because I feel tonkatsu a bit too heavy. Then I cannot eat through my way the whole day, you know. But in Singapore, I prefer tonkatsu because I want a filling meal. So without further ado, I'm ready to get some ramen in my belly. So let's go. So we're at our first ramen spot and it is Ramen Taisho. So it's kind of like a hole in a wall. It's somewhere in a underneath a condominium and the whole vibe is kind of like an izakaya. So I'm quite interested to see the kind of ramen that they serve here. So let's check it out. So we have been transported into a very Hong Kong Japanese street night style. The ramen style that they have here, normal shio tonkatsu, black tonkatsu, and also oh, a very Singaporean one, a sambal black tonkatsu ramen, sukumen. Oh, it's been a long time since I tried a sukumen. They are yeah, also very tea. popular for their drinks menu. And one of them that they have been advertising a lot is the dark shit fragrance. So what, what you've tried it before? Yeah. Yeah. So like, okay, what basically, right? Tea? They feed the tea leaves to the duck. Uh -huh. Then the duck poop it out. Uh -huh. Then they cleanse it. They dry it. Oh and my then god! Duck shit. <laughs> no man. Not true. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the tea is so good that the farmers don't want others to steal. They cover they, they in. Name it duck shit. Oh. So people at once they hear the the, the name, uh, they call. Okay. Yeah, Sorry so guys, I didn't fact check this tea. before I said it. So people make mistakes. Our first bowl of the day is here. Oh my god, this actually looks very delicious. So this is the Taisho's signature tonkatsu ramen. Right off the bat, right, it's a bit different from the normal ramen that you get because there seems to be like different cuts of meat. I would assume this is the chashu with the pork belly. And then they have this like really lean cut. It's so soft. This really big piece here, which oh my god, looks so good. This tonkatsu is really traditional. A very classic pork bone broth. The noodles themselves is al dente, but not hard. It's kind of like in a medium kind of bite to it. And the show taste is very strong. Fun fact, yeah. you know why ramen noodles are yellow? Why? It's the alkali. Oh, okay, like okay. The alkali water. Gan say. When the alkali is too much, it tastes mm. almost like soapy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But That's this one, true. I don't taste much gan say also. So I'm gonna try the loin first. Mmm, it's pork, mm. but it's super tender. It's like sous vide or something. It tastes like it's brine because the meat itself has a lot of flavor. It's like also like slightly pink. A very juicy cut of pork. Classic tashu. With the belly. The meats are really good. It actually makes the whole bowl very dynamic in a way. The soup is quite standard, thick tonkatsu broth. The noodles are medium firmness. And then I think the highlight is like the different types of meat. It's very tender, juicy enough, and like has a lot of flavor by itself. Actually, you know my favorite part of a ramen is the seaweed. I like to like dunk it in the soup. Then it absorbs all the soupy goodness. You just eat the seaweed. Nice. The egg is not as salty as your usual ajitama, which I appreciate because like the whole broth and the noodles and the meat is already also seasoned. So if the egg is more plain, it's nicer as well. And then we have our next ramen in a very same fashion, just without the tonkatsu. You have the three different kind of meats. And this is a sukumen style and this is a bonito shoyu sukumen. I have like this urge to just try the dipping sauce. Is it gonna be salty? Yep. Should be. Oh, yeah, but it's very nice. Uh. Like an alcoholic aftertaste. Alcohol. Like sake cooked with yeah. the bonito itself. The noodles are, I would say, cooked and then iced, right? To make it like super springy. I guess. You kind of just dip the soup. Honestly, it looks the same as 
the first ramen noodle no, firmer. No, the previous ramen has thinner noodles. These noodles are a bit thicker. I, I feel like the thicker noodles as a very good carrier of the sauce. Because when I'm eating the sauce, I can taste like the it's a bit salty. But with the noodles itself, because it's thicker and chewier, there's like more surface area, it feels like just right. You actually can taste like the full flavour of the sauce. I'm gonna try the meat dip in the sauce. It's definitely a very different ramen experience. Sukumi is always so different. Lao Ban, can we ask some questions about your noodles? Like number one, I really love the texture of the noodles. Mm. And I see that there's actually two different yeah. types, right? Mm. Do you guys do the noodle in the house? Yeah, the, the machine is over there. Oh, the machine is over there. Oh. Okay. What will you define as like your kind of noodles? Springy, mm -hmm. but it has to snap mm. at certain point when you bite. Not because of you biting the noodle through. It's kind of like you don't have to put too much pressure, yeah. but it snaps at a certain point. Yes. <coughs> the way that you present your meat, mm. right, is very unique. What inspired like having three different kinds? Is it your like USP? Actually, it's because we managed to make different kinds of meat so good. <laughs> we just want people to taste it instead of just the belly all the time. Mm. He made too many hits already. <laughs> he need to show everyone to his customers. Okay, so. The owner's pride and joy, his dog shit fragrance tea. Can we really taste the shit floor? Okay, this tea is very fragrant. It's for tea lovers. Definitely has that sweet long one flavor. Super refreshing, slightly sweet. So this first hidden spot has been has proven itself to be quite a good one and I'm quite excited to see the next few hidden spots and let's go find more ramen. It's only limited to 100 bowls per day. Oh my gosh, I hope that we get a bowl today. So we're at Enishi. This is at International Plaza, it's on the second level. And it's actually a Michelin Big Goman space. And they have one store in Kobe. And this is their second store. So they specialize in kind of like my style of noodles, very light and dry noodles. And they gave me like this little sheet to kind of like input everything that I like. And I can finally find my heart. So like a very typical Japanese ramen shop, it's all a tight squeeze and I'm in a corner of the shop which is good and you have basically everything. Their bowls of ramen look so delicious and I've never seen a more colourful tantan men bowl. Like look at this, minced meat, there's chopped meat, onions, pickles, salad and some chilies and some fried shallots. So they have another small dashi soup bowl for the tandan. This bowl came with a $2 top up of like richness. So they say they put extra like fish body to actually to make it more like pung. Okay, they are right. <laughs> That's really strong. I think it's interesting to have like this degrees of flavour. The noodles will be, I would say, plain. So we are slurping the noodles and if the stock is so flavourful, I think it will be quite a good experience. Very unassuming. Like you see like it's so clear and everything, right? You wouldn't expect that flavour punch to come through. And then the noodles, right, is quite interesting. It looks like ban mian. It looks like ban Yes, <laughs> yeah, right. It looks like ban mian. You can see like there's like specks of like wheat in the noodles themselves which just kind of indicates to me that it's like freshly made, handmade and very specially made for this bowl as well. It reminds me of like soba noodle. It's not as chewy, it breaks more easily but I think it matches the stock that it goes with. Tantan ramen next. We have this soft boiled egg where you just put it in and mix it through and they said that it's really nice with vinegar. Oh my god! Take photo within 20 seconds. I think that one we failed already. Then we mix five times with chopstick and spoon. Okay, got it. And then put on tama as good timing. Change your flavor with three kinds of sour dishes. Wow, okay. As another option, we hope that you will gradually pour your dashi into the tanan noodles to enjoy the dining. Such an experience. Okay, one. Oh my god. See lah? You never take photo within 20 seconds. Now the noodle a bit clumpy already. Three, two, three. Wow. Yes, it's five times. Oh my god, this looks so pretty. So they need to try with eggs, they need to touch it. 
Mm -hmm. So much flavor. It's the kind of meal, right? That every mouth you take, you kind of get a new flavor. So the most evident flavor would be the sesame. Then you get a lot of like the anchovies. It reminds me of bass for me. Because you get that the minced pork flavor. It's a bit spicy. You get a lot of that almost pork lardy flavor. And then you get like the pickle, which is actually very nice. And I can see how it's gonna be really good with the vinegar. Okay, now with the egg. The egg is like, it makes the sesame even more creamier. Orange vinegar, I'll put it in my small bowl. This one has like a tinge of bitterness from the orange. With such a heavy, heavy noodle dish, I think this dashi is a very good choice. Very light. I think I'm just interested like what the different vinegars do to the dish. So next time if I come, right, I can just choose my favourite. This one is what? The chili vinegar, is it? Like just now it was zestier, fresher, then this one is like nakama. Right. Final course, help vinegar. Oh, okay. Ch -ch 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 -ch. I'm gonna crack this pink peppercorn. It's not nice, it's quite Mmm, I think the kelp adds like even more like dashiness to it. Okay, so the last one is recommended by the chefs, shio chili oil ramen. It definitely looks a bit spicy, so I'm a bit worried, you know, going into this. Cause I, as I can tell, right, their soups are quite deceiving. It looks very light, but it's actually very heavy. Now it looks heavy, so I don't know how heavy it will be. Oh, it's fine. Fragrant in the chili oil. It's almost Chinese. So are you Chinese or Japanese? My favourite part about the noodles, right, is that they put some fresh yuzu slices on top. After you get a few mouths in, the yuzu really like pops. When you get a bite, it's like a surprise. I mean, I can really see why they got the Michelin bit because I can tell like the ingredients that they use are very traditional as well as it's very like fresh. And it's very true, like they say they only use like Japanese ingredients, right? You can really taste the ingredients in every bowl. If you're looking for a different ramen experience, you should definitely give this a try. Actually, I will come back. I love the tan tan more. I want that. <laughs> so we're off to the next one. Cheers. No, that cheers. Okay, so where are we? Kazu Take Ramen. This actually used to be a hot pot spot. Then last year, it suddenly became a ramen shop. I want to try truffle, truffle ma maze, maze, maze men. So the food is finally here. It looks so good. A fun fact about this place is open for 24 hours. So if you're having like late night Maggi Mi cravings, right, you can always come to Kazutake. Nicely seared chashu. I'm gonna try the soup first, which is basically the backbone of every ramen. Really tastes like chicken soup. Chinese chicken soup. <laughs> they never add any pork, is it? They say it's made from chicken. So if you swap the chashu out, it will be halal. <laughs> Noodles. The noodles are not like my type of noodles though. It's softer. It's softer and it's not as eggy. I prefer ramen noodles that are eggier. It tastes more like a wheat ramen. Okay, chashu. Chashu is good. Because the soup is not too strong, so the fatty chashu actually works over here. Oh, and also I just want to highlight this very beautiful Najitama eggs. So pretty, look at this. Yeah, do you try the soup? It tastes like um Chinese restaurant ji jing tang. So they really extracted like all of the it's bones and everything. Collagen yeah, collagen quite quite thing. high. Yeah, but a bit different from like the pork bone style. Because pork bone is a bit more thicker, milkier. Mm. This is more like, like a very thin collagen soup. I think it's more palatable in terms of like you can't eat it every day. Very easy to go down. Char still gets a point. Chicken soup gets a, a point okay. as well. But the noodles is not. I think it's a bit different. Is the truffle masmin. So whenever I see truffle on the menu, I get a bit um, worried. Because I'm always like, okay, what kind of truffle? How strong the truffle is? Is it a good truffle oil? But let's just taste first. It feels very non-saucy. The sauce is just the egg. So I think the flavour is shio with like truffle oil. It's like a lightly truffled fry. I mean, it's not bad. You know some people like they put so much truffle, it tastes like gasoline. Yeah, this is not. This is like very nice and mild. But the flavour here is very light. It's like salt, truffle oil, some like a bit of stock just to like make everything sticky. But that's it. There's no like heavy sauces. 
So the meat must be like seasoned quite a lot. That's why usually they cook like minced meat, then they put all the flavor yeah. inside, then they pull it over like plain noodles, and then you lard everything together. But with this one, because they only did it with the char siu, and probably tossed it in some truffle oil, it's very simple. Probably not the one I'll go for here. Honestly, I think for a neighborhood store, it's pretty good. Not bad. Very go-to, very simple, very affordable. I feel like the tonkatsu really won't let you down. And it like has... It's not, it's not tonkatsu, char siu oh, ramen. Okay, it's char siu ramen, ramen chicken with <laughs> chicken stock. But the stock itself is really strong. And if you love chicken stocks, right, this would be the chicken soup for you. Really nice to round off the meal with. And they also sell like a lot of milk tea and bubble tea. So it's very good to like come over after school or something with friends. Plus, the price is so affordable. So that's it for the day. How many bowls of ramen have I eaten? Oh my gosh. And we're gonna go for our outro and see which are the ones that I like best. So that concludes our whole day of ramen eating and ingesting. I'm so happy that all the places that we went actually taste so good. I'm still not like super stuffed by the ramen. I feel like I can go for another bowl if I wanted to. Definitely the most affordable is ramen taisho. I really love like the variety of meat that they gave us. The ramen is just very simple. There's not gonna be any misses. There's a few hits in there but not a lot of it as well. So if you want like a simple bowl of ramen, I will go for ramen taisho. The sukumen is a bit more unique than your normal like tonkatsu bowl. So if you want to try something with a chewier noodle, a bit of a difference in terms of flavour, I will go for the sukumen as well. But I would say that my most favourite of the day <laughs> is actually Anishi. I think they really really held out their end of the bargain when they said that it's going to be premium Japanese ingredients. They only do 100 bowls a day because they want to keep the standards high. I think when I was eating that bowl, I could tell like the amount of thought and effort and the amount of like premium ingredients that they have kind of like put into that whole bowl and that tan tan noodle. Oh my gosh, that's the bowl that I can eat one more of. So we had a lot of delicious ramen today but I actually am hungry for more. So let us know in the comments below your favourite ramen please and I hope to see See you in the next episode. Remember I like and subscribe. Oh, okay. Like and subscribe guys. Thank you. <laughs>